a UFO crashed through Arctic ice some years ago, and has been operating on the floor of the Arctic Sea ever since. This stunning information is according to newly released documents made available from State Department emails, by way of WikiLeaks. The villagers of Igloo alike, Nunavut, awoke to a streak of light crossing the sky and striking nearby ice with a bang. 200 villages came out their doors, but there was nothing to see except black water steaming and bubbling through a round, 10-meter hole. Hunters in the remote town in the Canadian Arctic, started reporting a mysterious sound coming from the seafloor. Hunters such as Paul Quasser, a member of the Legislative Assembly, says whatever the cause, it's frightening marine mammals and other animals. The pinging sound, sometimes also described as a hum or beep, has been heard in Fury and Hecla Strait, about 90 miles northwest of the hamlet of Igloo alike, last summer. The noise is emanating from the sea floor, according to remarks Quasa made last month in the Nunavut legislature. The Canadian government has promised to investigate the hum, whose origin is uncertain. Recently sending a submarine through the strait with no public knowledge known of its results. This is also not the first disclosed time that the Canadian military has been forced to investigate UFO phenomena. On the night of October 4, 1967, at about 11.20 pm it was reported that something had crashed into the waters of Shag Harbour, about 100 kilometers from Oak Island. At least 11 people saw a low-flying lit object head towards the harbour. Multiple witnesses reported hearing a whistling sound like a bomb, then a whoosh, and finally a loud bang. The object was never officially identified, and was therefore referred to as an unidentified flying object UFO in Government of Canada documents. The initial report was made by local resident Laurie Wickens. Wickens and his friend saw an object floating 1,000 feet offshore in the waters of Shag Harbour. Wickens contacted the RCMP detachment in Barrington Passage and reported he had seen a large airplane or small airliner crash into the waters off Shag Harbour. Assuming an aircraft had crashed, within about 15 minutes, 10 RCMP officers arrived at the scene. But before any attempt at rescue could be made, the object started to sink and disappeared from view. The next morning, the RCMP determined no aircrafts were missing. The cause of the incident was never solved. However the fact that an unknown craft crashed into an arctic lake, which has been emitting a sound ever since is highly compelling, I personally believe if interstellar craft exist, and the builders of such are organic life forms, I doubt the craft would be manned. This is the exact scenario I put forward for the creation, and still moving object buried into the ground at Pathomsky's crater, discovered in a remote Siberian forest, link will be at the end. Over the past few years, and getting more frequent and widespread by the day, people from all over the world are beginning to experience strange hums emitting from the earth. Like a theory straight out of War of the Worlds, people are beginning to worry if the hums origins are extraterrestrial. And with leaked documents linking a similar if not exact same sound being emitted by a sunk UFO, you do begin to wonder.